Good morning, students. How are you all? I hope all of you are doing well. A hearty welcome to today's English class. In the last class, we have been learning the fifth lesson from the movements, the Happy Prince. Let us have a quick review of the part that we have learned. The Happy Prince was a statue of a prince. It was set up in the middle of a city on a high pedestal. One day a swallow happened to come to take shelter at the feet of this statue. This statue was covered with golden leaves and he had a precious stones in his eyes and on the hilt of the sword. So, the swallow thought that it was a golden bedroom for him and suddenly he felt that water was falling on his body. So, he was wondering when he looked, the sky was very clear and the stars could be seen but from where it was not raining, from where the water was falling. So again and again, two, three times water drop was falling on him. When he looked up, he found that uh, it was a golden prince and uh, he was uh, crying. So the swallow asked the happy prince the, what was the matter that he was crying. Then he narrated his uh, story that uh, during his lifetime, he was very happy. That is why his courtiers set his statue in the middle of the city on a pedestal. And he could see from there the sufferings of the people. So many poor people were suffering. So he was helpless. He could not move from there. He was crying by seeing the sufferings. Now he asked the swallow to go to the town where in a street a poor woman was living and there the son was lying on the bed because of the fever. He asked him to go and give a precious stone, the, the ruby stone from his sword's hilt hilt and give it to that woman so that uh, she may buy and give what uh, he, uh, her son wanted. So at first the swallow was hesitating to go, uh, then the happy prince insisted upon and pleaded to him to stay back for one day and to be his uh, messenger. Though he he was not willing at, at the first day, but uh, later he agreed to stay back for one day and to be his uh, messenger. So far we have uh, seen, uh, studied in the last class. Now students take page number 30, the center of the uh, uh, paragraph. The swallow picked out the great ruby from the prince's sword and flew away with it in his beak over the roofs of the town. So as the happy prince requested him, he removed or plucked the, picked out the great ruby from the prince's sword and flew away with it in, in the beak over the roofs of the town. He passed by the cathedral tower where the white marble ages were sculptured. He passed by the palace and heard the sound of dancing. A beautiful girl came out on the balcony with her lover. I hope my dress will be ready in time for the state ball, she said. I have ordered flowers to be embroidered on it, but the seamstresses are so lazy. Now on his way to this woman's house, he passed by the cathedral. Cathedral is a big church. So, passed through the cathedral tower where the 
white marble angels were sculptured he also passed by the palace and he heard the sound of a dancing from the palace and a beautiful girl came out of a came out on the balcony with her lover and she was speaking i hope my dress will be ready in time for the state ball so state ball is a dance party so she had given her she was the maid of the queen and she had given her a new gown to be embroidered to this seamstress and uh, because of her utter poverty and weakness she could not complete that's why she is uh, um, remarked she remarked that uh, seamstresses are so lazy without knowing the condition of the poor woman he passed over the river and saw the landers hanging on the mast of the ships so he also passed over the river and he could see the landers hanging on the mast mast of the uh, ships at last he came to the poor woman's house and looked in the boy was tossing feverishly on his bed and the mother had fallen asleep she was so tired so at last uh, the swallow reached the poor woman's house and uh, he found that the little boy was uh, tossing tossing means uh, moving this side and that side uh, he was agitated because of the fever and uh, he was struggling he was not getting sleep struggling and this woman was uh, sitting there at uh, the table and uh, he was uh, she was uh, tired sleeping so she uh, she was uh, sleeping in he in he hoped and laid the great ruby on the table beside the woman's thimble so in inside the room he hoped he hoped means he flew inside and he reached inside the room and laid laid means kept the great ruby on the table where this woman was sleeping so by the side of her it was kept her thimble thimble is a cap worn in finger to protect it from a needle so while sewing while stitching it is used and kept on the finger tip then he flew gently round the bed finding the boy's forehead with his wings how cool i feel said the boy i must be getting better and he sank into a delicious slumber so after keeping this ruby on the table he he was flying gently round the bed so he was going around this bed and he finding the boy's forehead and he felt cool and he had fallen asleep slumber means sleep then the swallow flew back to the happy prince and told him what he had done It is curious he remarked but I feel quite warm now although it is so cold after doing this charitable work he uh, the swallow had flown by to the happy prince and uh, explained to him what had uh, happened and uh, what he had done afterwards he was feeling warm though it was very cold outside it was cold winter he was feeling warm so he said that uh, he was feel the although it is so cold outside he was feeling warm that is because you have done a good action said the prince so the prince said that uh, that is he was feeling warm because he had done a good action or a charity and the little swallow began to think and then fell asleep thinking always made him sleepy so this uh, swallow was thinking so whenever he was thinking he could get a false sleep fast so he uh, he had fallen asleep when day broke he flew down to the river and had a bath when it was uh, morning he went to the river to have a bath 
Tonight I go to Egypt, said the swallow, and he was in high spirits at the prospect. So he was telling to himself that uh, that night he wants to go to Egypt to be with his uh, friends, friends there. And he was uh, in high spirit. He was so excited thinking of this prospect means this possibility or uh, the very thought of going to Egypt. It made him very happy and uh, excited. He visited all the monuments and sat a long time on top of the church steeple. Steeple is the tower. So he visited in the town, he was flying and he visited all the important buildings, all the monuments. And he sat for a long time on the tower of this cathedral. When the moon rose, he flew back to the happy prince. When it was evening, the, when the moon rose, he had uh, flown back to the happy prince. Have you any commissions for Egypt? He cried. I am just starting. So he asked uh, whether he, he uh, has any commissions or any task to be fulfilled for uh, Egypt because he was uh, uh, just uh, starting to, uh, to go to Egypt. Swallow, swallow, little swallow. Said the prince, will you stay with me one night longer? Now the happy prince called the swallow and asked the swallow to stay by for one more night. I am waited for in Egypt, answered the swallow. The swallow answered that his companions, his friends are waiting in Egypt, waiting for him. Swallow, swallow, little swallow, said the prince. Far away across the city, I see a young man in a garret. He is leaning over a desk covered with papers and in the glass by his side there is a bunch of withered violets. So the happy prince told the uh, swallow, far away across the city, he sees a man in a garret. Garret is a small room at the top of the roof. So he sees a, uh, a young man sitting. He is leaning over a desk covered with uh, papers. So he was a playwright or a writer. And in the glass by his side there was a violet, uh, withered violet. Withered means faded, faded violet flowers. Flowers were there. His hair is brown and crisp and his lips are red as a pomegranate. So this man's, this playwright's hair was uh, brown and crisp, crisp means uh, hard. And his lips were red as pomegranate. Pomegranate, you know, is a fruit. And he has large and dreamy eyes. So this man has uh, large and uh, dreamy eyes. He is trying to finish a play for the director of the theatre, but he is too cold to write anymore. There is no fire in the grate and uh, hunger has made him faint. Now this man was writing a play for the director of the theatre, but uh, he could not complete it because it was very cold, because there wasn't uh, any firewood in the Great, great is the fireplace. He was uh, feeling very cold and also hungry that made him very weak and he could not complete this uh, work. I will wait with you one night longer, said the swallow, who really had a good heart. He asked if he should take another ruby to the young playwright. Now the swallow agreed to stay for one more night and to do the commission, the task that uh, the swallow asked. And uh, he asked him whether he has to take another ruby to this uh, man, this poor man. Alas, I have no ruby now, said the prince. My eyes are all that I have left. They are made of rare sapphires, which were brought out, out of India a thousand years ago. <coughs> then the Happy Prince said that he has no more ruby, but uh, he has uh, two sapphires in his eyes. It was uh, brought by 
from india long years uh, thousand of years so uh, by <coughs> he ordered the swallow to pluck out one of them and take it to the playwright he will sell it to the jeweler and buy firewood and finish his play he said so the prince said asked the swallow to remove one of his signs and take it to this playwright so that the playwright can uh, sell it to the jeweler and uh, he can buy firewood and uh, keep himself warm and complete his uh, work dear prince said the swallow i cannot do that and he began to weep the swallow was feeling bad because he has to remove the eye of the one of the eyes of this uh, happy prince so he began to weep and he told the prince that he cannot do that swallow swallow little swallow said the prince do as i command you so again he asked the swallow to do the same as the he ordered or uh, commanded so the swallow plucked out the prince's eye and flew away to the young man's garret so he removed uh, just as uh, the uh, happy prince requested he, he removed one of his eyes and he flew to the garret the man's garret it was easy enough to get in as there was a hole in the roof it was easy for the swallow to get inside here this uh, playwright's room because there was a hole hole in the roof through this he darted darted means moved uh, rapidly he darted and came into the room so through that hole he moved uh, rapidly to inside to the inside the room the young man had his head buried in his hands so he did not hear the flutter of the bird's wings and when he looked up he found the beautiful sapphire lying on the withered violets so what he did the young man he had his head buried in his hands he was keeping his head inside his arms and taking rest meanwhile he was fluttering when the bird fluttered uh, his wings he could not hear because he was uh, Uh, lying keeping his uh, head inside his uh, hands and when he looked up he found uh, the beautiful sapphire lying on the table on near the on the withered violets i am beginning to be appreciated he cried this is from some great admirer now i can finish my play and he looked quite happy now this playwright was very happy and excited he thought that uh, now people started to admire him or appreciated his work and uh, he thought now somebody presented this uh, precious stone to him he can sell it and uh, finish his work with uh, the money so he was very excited so students i stop the class here read the lesson so students thank you have a nice day